Hi there, this is Lori, and I love how easy it is in Artisan 5 to fill letters or other shapes with a photo. So I'm going to show you how easy that is right now. First of all, I need a photo. Now, I have my Dropbox camera uploads where all my, um, my photos go right into, and I have this photo right here. And normally, I might be able to use this, but I'm going to show you why I have to bring it over into my um, photo panel first. So I'm just going to move it back off the page for a moment. I start with going to Insert a Shape, and I'm going to go find a shape that I want, and, and it was asked if I could um, indicate some of the chunky fonts that would work. So I've already made myself a chunky category, and I have lots of different great fonts that would work for this in there. And so what I'll do is just scroll through and find some of the ones that that uh, I like and see what might work for me. And I could even type in whatever letter I might want to use to do this. And then I can see the sample. Let's go back to Chunky. I can see that sample with all these different letters. So um, there are lots and lots of different Chunky ones. AKA Dylan Plain is the one that I'm on right now. This Anchor Jack is kind of a cool shape with a nice big chunk to it. Um, this one is a little jagged at the edges even though it is a chunky one. So I try to find ones when I do this that are um, that are smoother on the edges like this, Ghost Words. And then there's this Gil Sands Extra Bold. This Gaudi Stout would work really well. This Gratune you can see down here is um, kind of cool. Also, this Guinness Extra Stout NF, and this Honda font is another one that's really, uh, really good for this. Um, so lots of different ones. Indie Extended, it's just about how big and chunky the font is so that you can really see the photo in there well. So I'll go ahead and take this one, and until you create you can move it around however you want. So I'm just going to move it like this for a moment. Now, I'm gonna pull that photo back on so you can see. I could right mouse and say copy. And then over here for the fill, I could hit the drop down and I could say paste. And it's going to bring up the cutting board. And now you can see that while I could work with it in here, that photo is rotated. So that's one of the issues that um, you might have to pay attention to. With some photos, they'll be in the correct orientation, but other photos like these, because of it, them being off my cell phone, actually come in rotated this way. So I'm just going to cancel that and show you how I would have to do it otherwise. So here's the photo again, and I'm just going to cancel this and I dragged that photo, I dragged that photo over into the, um, the photos panel. So of course normally you would see photos not used and then you would um, be able to use them from there. So you can see that that one I just pulled in is rotated and in order to use it I would need to rotate 90 degrees and now it's up and down the way that I can use it. So I'll go to my shape again, and um, it held Indie Extended because that's actually the one that I'd selected before when I was creating. So I'm going to use this and just show you how I could work with it to fill it in with that photo. Now this one's not ideal because it has a cutout in the middle, and that's going to fall right where my right where my dog is. Um, but I'm going to show you anyway exactly how it will work. So I don't need to do the fill from here because I can't get to that photo in the photo panel. So I'm just going to go ahead and create. And I want you to notice that there is a stroke around it right now. And this is another part that is so cool. I'm going to take the photo. I'm going to say fill the selected element. Here's my cutting board again. Now as I move and enlarge in order to see Loki, that's my dog, 
and that was this morning. I'm going to just get it kind of to the edges. And of course, this is why it's not ideal for this particular picture, but that's the one that I had handy. So I'm pulling it up anyway. So there we go, we've put it in, but notice that stroke line is still there. So this stroke that you see here, if I click away for a moment, and then I'll click back on it just so you can see, this stroke right here is still active. So I can change the color of that stroke if I want to better go with my page. So I do, I do have to click on it. If I click away, you don't see anything going on. But if I click on it, it becomes active. I can then click, say solid color in this particular case. I'll just click one of the colors in the image and I will say OK. And now you can see that that stroke is the same color that I chose that's one of the colors in the photo. So very easy to manipulate. Now at this point, if I decided, of course I can make it smaller or larger, but if I decided to change the aspect ratio, it is going to change the aspect ratio of the, the, um, the, the thing that you've got in the picture. In this case, my dog. So I would have to go back in and say fill again, because with the aspect ratio different, I wouldn't want people or um, other things, buildings that might be in that photo to be shrunken in a certain way where they didn't fit accurately. So I could just go back in and it still remains active in that respect. The stroke is still part of it, sep um, separate. And there are many things that you can still, still do with the stroke because it's right there. If you don't want the stroke, just say none and it will disappear. Hopefully that helps. And this is one of the cool new tools with Artisan 5 that I really enjoy.